Good morning, everyone. Deb and Tattoo here. We are, uh, I'll tell you a story. We are in Buffalo. We are at, um, for those of you in Buffalo, I got to put my glasses on. Um, it used to be called Lawson Road Park, and now it's called Stiegelmeyer Park. And um, we are kind of coming through. This is the part that, um, if any of you are from Buffalo, you probably recognize the tennis courts coming up to the main building. So we did a long loop and kind of came around the back. But having said that, um, we are in Buffalo, as you can tell. And um, I'm going to take you. And it's where I grew up. And I love my home in Rochester. But the thing that I want to call out, walking break, is that there are lots of ways to have home. And for me, I'm the first one on vacation or something like that that says I want to go home to my bed. But um, when I had cancer, when I was in my recovery, I did want to go home to my bed. But I will tell you one thing. Home to me is with the people and maybe even going places or doing the things that when you get there or you're with them or you talk to them, you're just like, this is it, this is me. This is like part of my identity. And when I was going through cancer, one of the first things I wanted to do was come home here and kind of be able to just have that that sense of, you know, this is, I don't know, where I'm from, who I am, and have that peace. And so this weekend we came in for my nephew Jeremy's graduation. He actually graduated from my high school. I don't know if I consider that a home. Um, I didn't love high school, but seeing um, my whole family, Jeremy's friends came over, all my nieces and nephews, my cousin Adrian, was in from Las Vegas with her daughter Maddie. There was so many times that I just breathed. It was home. And um, when we went home, we went to uh, my house, my parents' house, and I slept in my room, and it was just home. And I hope that everybody kind of takes moments to think about that. My one friend, when he and I talk, sometimes it's that, right? Hearing someone's voice and just slow for one minute, knowing, knowing the sound of their voice and just you guys talking, is the most comfortable and wonderful thing. Good morning, Jimmy. Um, that you can feel that's home. So I challenge you to think about what are your homes like? What gives you that peace and that sense of? And this is me. And sometimes, you know, things from our past don't give us that. And that's fine. Sometimes they're things from recent. We're coming up to the light here. Come here, Tattoo. We got a little lock you up. But if you don't know those, um, you might be finding yourself just searching all the time for peace. And um, as much as you all know, I'm kind of on go, go, go. I need a lot of peace in my life. And I need to know the things that bring me peace because I'm um, steady that's for what fills three me up. minutes. And that's what makes me stronger when I go on and do other things. So, um, you know, drop in the comments what's your home? What is your thing that takes you back to yourself? That, uh, you know, just lets you sit there like I did at my brother John's yesterday. I just breathed and I looked around and I, you know, to be honest, I don't even remember where I was sitting. Like I was using that bed example, doesn't matter. It was that I was with them. And then I came home to my parents' house and I'm at Lawson Road Park. I'm home and I feel like I can go do anything now. I feel like I just filled myself up. So let me know what fills you up. Okay, peace out. Devin Tattoo running for you. And uh, oh, he's a little spicy with the squirrel. Okay, bye.